How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. The rest of the world did come out tonight, and so did this man, the Cape Verde International from Santos Laguna. It is Janini. I, I tweeted out how do you actually say his name? Is it Janini? Janini? I got responses like. It's Janini, it's Janini, it's DJ Anini, which uh, it's not. But anyways, guys, I'm going to review Janini, which I'm sticking with today. And we're going to see if he's any good on this game. Of course, I did the longer review earlier on uh, on Timo Werner. If you've missed that one, go and check. The link to that will be at the end of this video. But today we review the Cape Birdman, like I did say. So if you do enjoy, smash a like on this review straight up bloody way. And let's go for a thousand likes to Janini. And let's see if we can absolutely smash it last. And if you haven't been on Facebook yet, if you want more content of mine, you've got to go there. You've got to go to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Marshall 89 HD. If you want more content from myself, that is the place to be. Um, for the upcoming future, that is the place to be, lads. And so I'm happy you do announce that. So head over to Facebook at Marshall 89 HD. And lads, let's just get into it. So here we go, Janini. This guy has got freestyle skills. That's a downside freestyle week for a downside again. Height and medium workers, so that's a positive. And he scored seven times in the five games. I did play that's actually not too bad and his price isn't too bad either but you would expect that from someone that's um you need icons around basically to get him into a good team I mean Cape Verde it's not exactly international equivalent of France or Germany or someone like that so Argentina or Brazil it's Cape Verde man which is no discrimination on the nation but um it could be a lot better in terms of his nationality Los Santos Laguna as well again it's not a great league to be in but if you stick icons around him or use him as a super server you can be very effective and when you've got stats like this, you can see exactly why. His strength is 97. 97 strength, standards 85, 99 head accuracy, 86 jumping. And with that, and his height that he's got, he's 6 foot 2, with 86 jumping and 99 head accuracy, he wins absolutely everything in the air. And when you look at his sprint speed, it matches Marco Royce. It is 99 on the dot. Acceleration is 89, so with an engine, it goes up to like, uh, what is it, 94, something like that. It's not too bad in the sights. It could even go higher. I'm not actually too sure there. Attack position 94, finishing 94, shot power 95, fantastic. Crossing 83 for a winger that isn't actually too good. Agility 85, great. Bounce 74, bad. That is bad in itself. 88 reactions, 92 ball control, and 94 dribbling. When he can do stuff like you just see in the background, that is sensational. He flicked it up, flicked it over his head, and Leo Messi was there for the rebound. You're thinking if he can just assist and do that, what can he do in terms of scoring goals? This is exactly what takes a touch, takes another touch, and bang! Oh my god! What a strike from DJ Anini into the back of the net, or as he actually is known by Janini. What a strike there! Past the goalkeeper into the net, easy as you like from Janini. That was a great strike from the angle. So I know his crossing is bad, and you would expect to cross from that situation, but. Take the bloody shot, man. He's got a rasper of a strike. Look at that, man. He just scissors it in the back of the net. It cracks like right there from Janini as uh, Messi gets caught there. Or was it Griezmann? I did bring Griezmann on as a sub in one game. But uh, Janini gets a chance. What was I saying about low drivens? Easy again into the back of the net. Low drivens is what you want to do with Janini because when you've got a player with 95 shot power, right foot, freestyle weak foot, of course, is uh, his left foot. He's right foot predominantly. Go on to his right foot all the time. Low driven across the keeper every single time. And it will go in. It's seen yet again. Look at this. Heel to heel. Low driven back of the net yet again. So the best stats that he's got obviously is strength. And um, yeah, amongst that he's got attack and position 94. Head and accuracy of 99. So his head has to be up there as well. So in terms of the pros, he has the top speed. It's 99. It's very important. His acceleration is actually good. So um, yeah, he hits the top speed very, very fast. And it's just great, man. He's lanky. He's like um, <laughs> he's like a that I'm Yobi on speed. Let's just say that, lads. He's <laughs> he's, uh, he's hilarious in game. He really is. He turns his man and turns him again and gets tackled by Roberto Carlos. I think it is on that occasion. He will get the ball back. He will lose it again. The ball will come back to him. And again, another low driven pass to the goalkeeper. His height is a pro in itself. It's six foot two. Any header to the back stick. And you know, on this game, LB crosses to the back post are quite overpowered. Do that because he's good in the air and he will win those headers because he is tall, 6 or 2, and his jumping is very, very good as well. Long shots you've seen in this review, he can bang them from range. I know his long shot start isn't in the 90s, which uh, is quite strange with these team of the season cards, but it is 86, and he will win those uh, long shots from distance, those kind of battles to go in. He will win them 9 times out of 10. The finishing is great on the card, fantastic, and of course the head and etc. 
is all gravy. The worst after the card, you've got the balance of 74. It's not great. And it is a con with the card because sometimes you can be off balance. And it will affect his shooting, his dribbling, uh, and his pace kind of burst at the same time. In terms of uh, the rest of his pros, you have the strength, of course, and the movement on the card as well. And the other con, the freestyle combo. The freestyle combo is not very good and it is quite bad with the card because, of course, with freestyle weak foot, you can't really take it on his left foot. Freestyle skills, you can't really skill from the wing and cut inside and do stuff like that. And you can't bang shots across the keeper when you do cut inside on the, uh, little, the weaker left foot. You can't really do that. So in terms of the overall rating, then he's going to get a good rating for myself. I did enjoy the card. I've got to say, I enjoyed banging those long shots with, uh, with Giannini from the angle and stuff like that. He using his like, freakish like pace with his freakish like height as well, 6 foot 2 with 99 sprint speed, you're taking the pace, Shola Ami Yobi indeed lads, so in terms of the overall rating, he's going to get the rating of an 8.8, he is a good card, but again, the links to him and whatnot, you've got to have icons around him or starting on the bench, that is literally uh, just the way it is, it's just the way it is, for foot chance, that is the way it is, value for coins 8.0, which um, yes, I know he's like 60 to 50k, at the same time, you've got to start him on the bench, you've got to start him on weekend, or you've got to buy the icons to put around him. Alternatively, if you've already got the icons, it isn't much of an issue. The enjoyment rating is a 9.0. Like I said, I enjoyed scoring those bangers and enjoyed uh, running with this card because it is quite funny in game. In terms of divisions ready, definitely divisions ready, champs ready. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm on the fence with that one. So he's not getting like a full rating in terms of champs readiness. Simplest Leroy Sane is probably the most similar if, um, yeah, if he was playing on the right side. Salah as well in terms of the speed is quite similar and uh, Mane is as well. Now, there's not too many players in terms of heights and speed. That's is the equivalent of this card just because it is quite unique. Uh, it is unique on this game. I've got to say that. So that's going to be it for this review, lads. Hope you have enjoyed once again. Remember, facebook.com forward slash Marshall 89 HD. If you want to see more content coming up in the future from myself other than reviews on this channel of course i'll do other things on this channel as well but if you want to see even more of myself facebook.com forward slash marshall 89 hd and lads smash your like on this review subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always i will catch you all next time